Photoshop comes with a tool called Adobe Bridge, which is a very powerful tool for selecting images and also organizing images that you work with. Let's take a look. So I'm in Photoshop right now, and I can access the bridge by using the icon here on the application board to open up the bridge. And when the bridge is open, it's giving me thumbnails of images that I might want to work with. One of the advantages of the bridge, in, instead of simply using the open dialog box, is that I can see native Photoshop files as previews. And I don't actually see an icon that you, would, that you might see in an open dialog box. Now, the other advantage of the bridge is that it allows you to organize information by different keywords and metadata so that it's easier for you to find a lot of images that might meet a certain criteria. The bridge itself is divided into three panes. And the pane on the far left is a way to simply find images. So you could set up favorites, folders where you store a lot of images, or simply browse where your images might be stored. And then there are also ways to narrow down your searches once you do find images in those particular folders. The middle pane, of course, shows you previews of all these different images. And if your image was a Photoshop image or a JPEG or a native Illustrator file, or in this case, an Acrobat PDF file, then your, your bridge is actually going to let you see that file and even open it up in the program that would best be suited for editing that particular file type. Over on the right-hand side, you're going to get more details about whatever image is selected. So I click on the, this image. Thank you for viewing our short demo video. For more information on K-Alliance's e-learning videos, please visit us at www.kalliance.com or call us at our U.S. toll-free number 1-800-330-9111.